Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Teltais exam. As all of you know guys, you will be having total 50 MCQ questions from technical parts and three coding questions. One will be easy, second one medium, third one is harder. So today I'm going to give you one important coding questions which was asked on 2024 and this can be repeated for you as well. Okay, so let me share the coding questions but before that guys, if you have not subscribed this channel then please do subscribe and watch the playlist regarding Delta X or any company that you want and please do share this content with your friend so that they can also take help and we can be motivated to make more content for Delta X only. Okay. So let me show you the questions that was regarding mailing list. Okay. So the question was basically given a list of email IDs, determine the validity of each of them without using regex or built-in email parsers. Refer the sample input and output to understand the main rules of validation to be used in this problem. So input format is this. The in first line of input contains a positive integer n representing the number of email IDs. The next n lines of input contain strings representing email ids okay and the second sample input i mean sorry the note is the given strings may contain spaces the input must be considered till the end of the lines okay so output is print the validity of each email in a separate line true if the email is valid false otherwise so let me show you the sample input output so that you can understand better okay so six is the sample like integer format okay six is the integer value number of ids you have to check so six ids are given you have to check if it is valid or not if valid then return true if false then return false okay so is it a true uh, i mean is it a valid email id no because this is the local part so this is the at the rate after at the rate this is called domain part and before at the rate this is called local part okay so after at the rate you must have one domain okay and this is not a valid domain name a domain name must contain one dot and dot uh, after that also you should have at least two character okay so here it is not present so that's why it is false i mean it is invalid for the second one you can see uh, the at the rate is given and the proper domain name is provided okay because the dot is present in between two word and both word having more than two characters okay and the local part is not valid why because in between them there is one space and space should not be considered in a local part okay nothing like nowhere you should have one space in between okay and the third one let's see so this is the at the rate okay and you can see this is a proper domain name and here also proper local uh, name provided okay so abc.pqr at the rate example.com so this is proper so you can return this as true and for this one you can see only the domain name is provided not the local so it should be false okay and for this one the local name is okay but the domain name is not okay why because after the dot there is uh there, there is a word that is okay but up before the dot there is no word so that's why it is invalid but for this one as well it is also invalid because after the com there is nothing written after com and after dot there is nothing written okay so that's why this is also false so this is false this is false only this is true the third one okay so, so as you can see here so for this one it is false for this one it's false only for this case the answer is true okay and for other cases all the uh, like answer is false okay because all are invalid i hope you understood guys so if you understood then please solve the problem by yourself if not then please watch till the end okay and as you can see your approach should be in such a way so that you cannot use the regex uh, without using regex uh, formulas and without using the built-in uh, methods okay i hope you understood so just use the string methods to uh, validate the emails okay so let me show you the answers but before that guys if you need the technical questions for delta x mock test coding questions for harder for medium for easier one and if you want to prepare for interview then please visit topmate.io slash techno underscore the link will be given in the description box this is the materials just visit that and 
like get it and if you face any problem then let me know in the comment section or if you face any problem then damn me at instant handle okay as you know guys zoho mindra rise accenture uh, pwc co goldman sachs accenture delight and various other companies like wipro they are hiring right so they are hiring for on campus so if you are such a uh, person if you are such students then please visit topmate.com there we have precise materials for all of those companies so get all these materials or you can just get the plan lord which includes a top 25 mnc's full preparation materials from the first round like uh aptitude round to interview round the full preparation materials are provided so just visit topmate.io slash technology with the link is given in the description box and grab the opportunity as you can see the feedback of students uh, we have been recognized uh, like fully uh, as you can see this is the feedback so i hope you will consider it okay so let me show you the answer so this is the main method driver code so this is the input for the number of test cases and this is the for loop using what we are just test testing all the test cases okay so we are checking uh, at first we are taking the input from the user email is equal to input okay and we are printing if this is true if this is true this is the function name it is if it is returning true then it will be printing true if it is not printing true then it will be false okay i hope you understood so let me just show you the implementation of the function so here is valid email it is taking an argument email okay so at first we are just uh, deleting or removing all the spaces at the end and at the beginning okay if there is any space at the end and at the beginning then we are just removing those and then we are checking <coughs> sorry if if the email containing spaces if the email is containing spaces then directly return false okay this is the base case okay this is the base case you don't have to check uh, this one then check the base cases this is the wrong way it will uh, take long time okay so that's why we have to check the base cases at the beginning so base cases the negative test cases are these if the if the string contains a space then it is a false okay it is a a uh, false statement false case okay and if the email dot count that the rate is more than 1 okay if not equal to 1 it must contain one at the rate right and it must not contain more than one at the rate so if it is not equal to 1 then you should return false okay and then we are just taking the local part and the domain part of the email using the split method of string email dot split when to split when we uh, encounter a uh, and at the rate okay so if at the rate present then just split the string like the local part will be stored here and domain part will be stored here okay then we are checking if not local or not domain so if one of them is not present like if local is not present or if not domain present okay so if that happens then return false as well okay then we are checking if the string if the email local part is containing only number then you should return false right so it must contain alpha numeric characters or alphabetic characters right so that's why you have to check this okay i hope you understood so then we are checking if uh, the domain name containing if dot dot in domain or dot dot in local so consecutive dots should not be present in domain or in the local part okay if this is present then return false okay and then the domain must not start with uh, must not start with dot or the domain must not end with a dot okay so that's why we have to check if domain dot starts with dot or domain dot ends with dot if this is ends with or starts with dot then return false okay and if the dot is not present in the domain then also return the false okay then domain parts is equal to domain dot split dot so we are just uh, splitting the domain and we are checking if one of the part is blank or not so we are splitting the domain so let's say abc.com then we are checking if uh, if abc i mean dot before dot anything is present or not if after dot anything is present or not if anything any of them is blank then we will return false okay then we are checking the domain parts if it is alphanumeric or not if so then uh, if not part dot is al nam then return false okay if all these return if all these cases are false and not matched let's say 
then it will return true okay so let me just run it and let me show you how it is working okay so for these i have to check okay so let me run it so three test case right so a b c at the rate gmail.com so this is invalid sorry valid okay you should return true and a b space c at the rate gmail dot com it should return false why because here one space is entered okay it is false and a b c at the rate gmail let's say dot only so it will return false okay i hope you understood so this way actually it works so i hope you understood without using the built-in methods without using the regex a regular expression we have solved this problem so guys if you want me to upload more content and if you have any questions then please let me know in the comment section and if you want me to upload any other company's content also recommend me that company and the subject you want okay and guys let me know if you are like if, if accenture is going to uh, hire in your campus or not if uh, wipro if uh, deloitte capgemini is started like started hiring in your campus or not just let me know in the comment section i'll love to make more, more content on those okay and at the end again i'll request you to subscribe this channel to get more latest updates and at the end I, i'll again request you to subscribe this channel to get the updated content and the questions which are being asked in these companies so i hope you will do so and again if you want the prime materials then please visit topmentotile slash techno you will grab the opportunity thank you